All right, it's been a while since we've checked in with the post office box. I have a bunch of crap. This is gonna, I'm gonna try to do this quickly, right? Uh, first up, I've already opened this package. I already opened this package. It's uh, from Timu. So we got a bunch of Timu stuff, including a Golden Girls medal sign. Stay golden. Thank you. We've got. The box says Sweet Love on it, and it is a coffee mug. Dr. Um, what's his name? Dr. No um, now. Dr. Now. Uh, why you eat so much? Okay, thank you. That'll come in handy. That'll aid me on my weight loss journey. Make me question every bite I put into my mouth. There's a Skyline hot sauce packet in there, which I don't think Timu sent me. <laughs> that That's all me. This is really a Timu crap grab bag. It's a crap bag. What it is? What is this? Speaking of shit <laughs> or crap, it looks like a piece of poop. No, it's just meat. It's a meat uh, keychain. We got a hi, it's me stand decal. Heavy on the uh, Golden Girls merchandise. And then out of left field, we've got some sort of anime shirt. Sorry, anime shirt. I pause my anime to be here. This better be good. Look, I'm not that big of an anime dork. I will, however, give this to Lord Douche. Ting! Thank you very much uh, to a mystery listener for all of the Timu stuff. Beautiful meat. That's a beautiful cut of meat. Next up. Oh, what could this be? Got uh, an adult coloring book. The Big Adventures of Tiny Dick. So lots of, uh, oh, a dick riding a pony. A dick playing baseball. A dick fairy, which was my nickname in high school. We have got a note. Timmy Boo, you are a national treasure. We love you. Uh, nameless Dax and Jill. P.S. Enjoy the dicks. Our cat Churro, R.I.P. Aw. Also loved you. Oh, rest in peace, Churro. Love Churros. Uh, and thank you very much for the Dick Coloring Book. All right. Got one here from Amazon Fulfillment Service. Huge fan of the show. Is this another coloring book? No. This <laughs> is so stupid. You guys are all assholes. We've got uh, Got Feet Make Money. Become your own boss. Start a profitable business from home using only your feet. Oh, this is, a, a, I thought it was going to be like one of those books that aren't, isn't really a book. It's just like, you know, blank pages, like a journal or something. But no, this is an actual book. <laughs> Let's just start with the acknowledgments. It's my pleasure to give a special thanks to each beautiful foot model that has contributed to the success of my second self-published book. Like queen size sexy feet who was on the left of the front cover. So that this is her. There you go. Must have business expenses. Oh, like a quality smartphone with an HD recording camera. Really? Go step by step here. Video editing apps, backup phone storage. According to the back here, Got Feet Make Money is the ultimate guide for both men and women looking to earn a huge profit in the underground foot fetish industry as a content creator. Wow, you know, it's um, it's not a thick book, but it's uh, it's got a lot of useful information contained in those few pages. So I'm very excited to get my business started. Well, thank you very much. I don't think... Um I don't think this contained a note inside, so I'll just have to um, say thanks to uh, Mystery Listener for that. And we're back with some more here. This is Amazon again. Feels like a shirt. Before I look at the shirt, let me just take a peek inside. All right. More feet-related content. Man, I love feet. I'm a MILF. Here's the thing. I think I've got a couple more packages from Amazon. And I think I know what type of products are going to be included in here. Feet! How to talk to your partner about your foot fetish. Confessing a fetish to a romantic partner is a very unnerving task. You worry about how they will react and how they will see you afterwards. 
This book may help you start the conversation. It contains 120 ways to approach that sensitive subject. I'm going to just pick one here on one page. Uh, apple of my eye, I want a tattoo of your feet on my back. Yeah, I wouldn't start the conversation off like that, but okay. I will burn any piece of furniture you ever stub your toe on. Can I buy you toe rings? That's a good one, right? I want to see. I want to see how pretty you look with a toe ring. Uh, a pedicure salon is like a gentleman's club for me. Okay, all right, that's enough. Thank you very much again. For those of you that don't know, I've made it very clear on my audio podcast that I'm not a huge fan of feet. So naturally, my listeners are sending me um, a lot of foot-related content. As a matter of fact, this might be the same person who sent me um, a sex foot in the mail. I can't, I don't know where that's at though. <laughs> I think I've burned it. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got one more from Amazon here. I think I know what we're in for. Foot fetish, sh short story collection. And foot fetish, sh uh, short story collection, volume two. I can't say I'm surprised regarding the shit I'm getting in the mail. So uh, thank you, freaks, for all of that. Oh, I think we have a, yeah, we've got one more here. This is a new package. Chances are this is not foot content. Ooh. Um, someone also sent me a Bad Dragon-style dildo, and I know this sounds sketchy as fuck, but I can't find it. Uh, it's somewhere in here, and I promise I will show it off as soon as I... Locate it. It's not in my bedroom. <laughs> it's currently being washed. It's in the dishwasher. Um, I, I don't know where it is, but it's like one of those like creepy dragon dildos. So first of all, thank you very much for that. I don't have your name and I can't find it, but it's somewhere around. I've lost all my sex stuff. I lost my sex foot. I lost my uh, bad dragon dildo. Not doing well here. Oh, look at this. This is a bunch of shit. Okay. Read me first. All right, here we go. Oh, look. Listener wrote a novel, a novella. <laughs> oh great, it's someone with a scary name. It's me, Jiad, 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 J-I-A-D. Sorry, I mispronounced that. Been a fan for a solid four to five years now, and I wanted to show some support in this insane choice of life you call podcasting. I've sent you a few things along with my narration of what they are and why I sent them. So just follow the number system in the boxes as we go. Uh-oh. Okay, this is number one. All right, we got number one here. You are one of two podcasts that I listen to regularly to get me through my workday. So I had a custom blanket made to highlight both podcasts and their respective hosts. <laughs> hey, it's me and Brad Carter. There's Distorted View and me filleting a microphone. There's uh, Brad, Car Brad Carter in a wig. There's the DV, one of DV's logos. And then, oh, can, I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm talking into a fucking blanket. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's me, Brad Carter, the Snowplow Show. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Finally, a thoughtful gift <laughs> that has nothing to do with feet. All right, uh, every blanket needs a pillow. And you are now the owner of the officially licensed Horsey Cat Pillow. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's let's read on. What the hell is horsey cat? Uh, it's a stuffed animal that has the head of a cat, the body of a horse, and is anatomically correct in the penis area. Oh no, do I have to blur something out? No, we're good there. We're good there. Okay, we're good there. I mean, that might be that might be the penis, or it could be a foot. A horsey cat. It was made by Asians. I think he was Asian um, to teach kids about sex organs, or at least that is what Carlito said when he made all that shit up 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> During prank giving. Anyways, both you and RBCP own the only copies of that pillow that were ever made. Wow. That's so cool. Thank you so much. We're not done yet though. We've got a couple more here. Number three, I run a fake podcast called, uh, called Reasonable Sanity, where I mix the idea of podcasting pranking a call-in show and desperate people sh shelling all kinds of nonsense that sounds funny maybe you have listened a time or two no uh, anyway i was making a new set of poker chips to give the cast who have contributed to the show when making this set of custom poker chips i decided i was going to make a tim slash dv chip to include you've got the dv logo which works great on a poker chip by the way because it's circular 
And then uh, it says, have the Tim of your life, which is really cool. And then, of course, there are other um, prank call, you know, podcast related things. Immunity calls. Like, I, I want to show these all off. Oh, there's Ask Mr. Biggs. I'm familiar with that one. Very cool. Thank you so much. I love these. The envelope reads, I can change him. DV, love you, Tim. But it is money. <laughs> money. Apparently, he wants to sign up to become a lifetime member. I want to become a lifetime freak and keep your show going. But for the love of God, don't go dying in the next year or two. Or I might take you to collections for breach of contract. Wow, we got a new lifetime freak. Thanks for all the laughs and helping me feel like I'm a half normal person, even with all my flaws. I mean, I might have an unhealthy obsession with prank phone calls, but at least I'm not yelling at trains for perverts peeping into my window. Yeah, we haven't played that guy in a while. Take care and keep it weird. Well, uh, I'm so happy to have you as a lifetime freak. And thank you so much for all the awesome, very thoughtful gifts. I love them all. And thank you to everyone who continues to send stuff uh, to our post office box. We'll do another unboxing as soon as I find my um, Bad Dragon sex dildo. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to Distorted View Daily wherever fine podcasts are served up. Wait a minute. Are you on the internet? Isn't that for techno geeks with spreadsheets? Welcome to 1-800-ASSHOLE. The guy, he's in the dirty underwear or something. I don't know. He's sniff freak.